there probably will be things that are missing from here like I know that I've not got a micro micron pen in here and I did get a micron pen and just bits and bobs like maybe rubbers and sharpeners that we got. Also I know that the Faber-Castell pencils that we got are not in this box just because they're with my other Faber-Castells um, but basically it's just a, the bulk of it. So we're going to go through it and see what they are first and then we are going to talk about whether um, I was happy or not with the with the services. Okay. So one of the things that we got in the scroller box for January was this sketchbook and I used it all and I thought that it was really nice and really cool. So this sketchbook, well, I'm not going to go through every single item and tell you about them because we will be here forever but I'm just going to show you them quickly. Um, so that's the article Frisk sketchbook. Then we got this Burden and Riley, and none of this is in order either. I don't know when I got them and what box I got them in, but all of my scroller box uh, videos are in this playlist. Um, so I'll link the playlist in the description below so that you can see it. Um, but yeah, this, I only used it once when we first got it, I think. I haven't used it since. This was pretty cool. We got a Koi uh, watercolor kit. And I have used this quite a bit, but not that much because I'm not too keen on the paints themselves. This is a recent thing. The Spectrum Noir Colorista Pencils 8-pack. The DVD that came with that. The booklet that came with that. Two of these Colorista Spectrum Noir markers. We also got this uh, Sakura Ident Eye Pen. This little set of Spectrum Noir... Um, alcohol based markers, one with a chisel tip and bullet nib. These art sticks, colouring markers and brush markers. Two Ecoline brush pens. Spectrum Noir sparkle pen. These Molotow Aqua Twin markers. This little set of Posca markers. Sharpie marker. A permanent marker. A Zig Posterman waterproof chalkboard marker. It's permanent by the way. <laughs> Didn't realise that until I drew on it with drew on my, my son's uh, chalkboard. Ultra clean washable um, Crayola marker. I think we got two jelly roll pens. This Lyra Aqua Brush Jewel. This is not in a box that I opened online. There was one box that I didn't open um, because I wasn't happy with it. Uh, this Edding 1200 metallic marker. Vector uh, fountain pen, Parker. These Graphmaster twin tip, dual tip alcohol based markers in grey tones and a blender. A couple of Graphmaster liners. Another Lyra Aqua brush jewel, a Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen, a big brush in cold grey, a Stadler Pigment Liner in 0.5, a Stadler Tripos Fine Liner, a Wink of Stella Brush Pen, Molotow Art Masking Fluid Pump Marker, Uni Paint Marker, the Graphic Line Painter 0.5, number 2, Derwent, the Hard Myth uh, H Pencil, the Hard Myth um, watercolour pencil. Another Hard Myth watercolour pencil. Koi Noir Hard Myth uh, felt tip. Stadler Norris Eco HB pencil. Stadler metallic marker. Graphic line maker 0.3. Hybrid white gel pen. Stadler Mars razor. Koi Noir Hard Myth uh, 10H. This Koi Noir Tyson Dior 5900 clutch pencil, Zig Painty marker, Twin Tip Magic marker, the Mono, Mono Zero Tombow Eraser, Stadler Mars Lumograph HB pencil, Chir Kuritake uh, Zig Clean Colour Real Brush and we got three of these, the Zig Brushables Dual Tip marker, Uni Pin Fine Line 0.3 and the uh, Pentel, is it Pentel or? Yeah, Pentel Touch Sign Pen. 
and we also got a couple of microns as well and some brushes that I don't have on hand at the moment. So this, this is a lot of stuff in a year. So is it worth it? <laughs> well, I think for the fun of opening, I really wish I could talk to you guys face to face, but I'm a mess right now. I'm just out of the bath. Um, but for the fun of opening something that you don't know what it is, it's like a present every month. So you open it and you're like, oh, that's cool. And then some of the things that you get in the box, you might never have thought of buying, but you really like and you go out and buy more. Did I ever buy more of this stuff that I bought? Oh, we also got the Faber-Castell. No, I didn't. But if I tried the Faber-Castell pencils and had never tried the Faber-Castell pencils before, I probably would have bought them, but they're my favourite pencils. Um, I haven't went out and bought anything else because I feel like I'm skint. So I uh, haven't really went out and said, okay, I really like this from the box. I'm going to buy more. And I think that that's basically what it is for, is for like artists to find new supplies and new companies that they can put their money into to buy more products. Um, don't get me wrong, I love some of these products, like the Posca pens I really like, but I don't like the fact that most papers I've tried them on eats it up. So if anybody has a paper that these Posca pens will work on, I will sure to do more Posca pen work. A couple of things. I did have a full set of these um, before I got these in a box, these Spectrum Noir alcohol markers and then I sold them to my friend and then I got these ones. I, reali I realised how much I actually missed them and wanted to learn how to use them and then cried about it basically. Um, so that wasn't a happy moment but that wasn't Scroller Box's fault, that was my own fault for getting rid of markers that I really loved. But I think that it's not worth it for if you want to get things that you will use regularly. I say that because about 90% of these products I don't actually use. They just stay in this box. That's how I can find them so easily because most of them were in this box and I forgot I had them. But I think that when they come in sets like this, even though I haven't used them, um, not that one. <laughs> Even though I haven't used these markers, I think that it's nicer when they come in sets like this because you can actually do a full piece um, that's cohesive rather than just dipping in like the lucky dip that I used to do on this channel and that Ashley does. Um, so it's definitely worth it when you get a pack like this, but you might never get a pack like this. And these graphic ma masters, I, I used them once and already it's, you know, it's the, the thing is scrubbing off and I really didn't like the pen because it bled through all the papers that I used but as a yearly thing I can't it's an addiction like I can't stop getting this stuff but I don't know what to do with it because I don't use it all like I tried the lucky dip challenge and that worked for a little bit but then I was like no I'm bored of this now I don't know what to create anymore um so maybe putting these items in like for instance I do use the, oh, saying that, that's a lie. I went out and bought these um, touch pens, sign pens, because I got this one. So that's a lie, sorry, I lied to you. But I have, so I have this one in my um, pencil case and I have this in my pencil case and I also have this and these two, but I don't actually use these two. I haven't did much sketchbook, done much sketchbook work. And I also use this pencil all the time, love it. Um, so there are things that I use on a regular basis, but it's literally like six items out of the, I don't even know how much items are here, like 50? I don't know, probably more than that. Let's count them. Okay, so I have roughly about 70 items here, not including the ones that I'm missing. And I am missing felt tip pens as well. I had um, a pack of uh, Faber-Castell art grip um, pens. Anyway, so they're all back in this box now. 
and that's probably where they're gonna stay so it's probably not worth the money as in you probably won't use the art supplies let's be real we all get into our comfort zones and we all tend to use the same art supplies that we've always used or that we've got used to or that we instantly love we never try and introduce new art supplies into our lives or most of us don't anyway so I have no idea whether this is worth it in the sense that you will get new art supplies that you will constantly use what am I gonna do with all this stuff I don't know I can't give it away because then I would have to post it and that costs money. Um, I could just be like here to my friend and give it but that's £180 worth of art supplies you're just handing away um, over the course of a year. That's a lot of money especially if you're trying to save up for things and you've got a family and you, or even if you're a student and you don't have that much money that's a lot of money to be given away to art supplies that you don't use. So is it worth it? Not really. 